Hello everybody, this is Chanel. Welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. God bless you all. This video is not going to be too long. I just want to show you guys how I got organized um, for the semester and I hope that it works because I'm trying something new. I said in the last video that I was going to use a loose, uh, a loose leaf binder instead of a notebook. Because the notebook, I last year I used a five a five subject notebook, and it just got really messy. I think I'm gonna go get the notebook. Actually, I'll be right back. Okay. Okay, I'm back. I just ran. This is the notebook that I used last semester for all of my classes, and I had about five classes last semester. So I used the five subject notebook, and I don't know if you can see, but it's pretty messy looking, it's pretty trashy looking. My notes were really all over the place. Um, it was hard for me to find, I bought a binder for like $3, but I'm not using it. I'll show you why. The desks at my school are pretty small. Um, one of my classes, every desk has a computer on it. And so the computer takes up most of the space on the desk. So she said, my teacher said, you can either take notes on the computer and just like email them to yourself or put in your little flash drive and type in your notes on the computer or you could just push the keyboard aside and write down your notes. Now that still doesn't leave a whole lot of room. I write much faster than I type. So I decided that I'm going to write down my notes. So what I did is I said let me get one of these folders and just put loose leaf paper in it because they have on the inside they have, I don't know if you can see that. Oh my gosh, I don't, I don't want to show the name of my school, just in case I say something negative, I don't want to get... So there has the, um, the holes where you can take paper and just like, loose leaf paper and just keep it in the holes, okay? Like a notebook, so it's, it's pretty much like a notebook, okay? So I did that. This is kind of popping off. Yeah, can you see? Yeah. So it's like a notebook. Okay. So I just I did that and then I put extra loose leaf in the back just in case I run out. And then I have the these um reconstructor sticker thing. Okay, so I have um now in the pockets, there's pockets in the front and in the back, and I just take my hand out and I put it in a pocket, and that's where I keep my hand out. Now this 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 folder is pretty small, so if I tend to accumulate a lot of handouts, I'll just put the extra handouts that are not as current in a binder, and I'll just keep that in my room. But anyway, um, I have four folders. I have four different color folders for um, every class. I'm taking four classes, so here we go, my four folders. And I did the same thing for each class. And they're really lightweight, they're really small. You can open it up and like fold it when you take tea. I can like fold it so that it doesn't take up a lot of space when I'm writing my notes, right? So I'm using a webcam, so this video will probably sucks. I'm sorry, but that's pretty much what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be using my folders instead of a binder because they're smaller and it's cheap. It's cheaper than using a binder. It's definitely cheaper than getting a five-star notebook, a five-subject notebook, and so on and so forth. 
Now, I also mentioned in my last study, study tips video how I highlight my textbook. And I just wanted to show you my textbook. I'll, this is my message textbook. I'll be using it for the rest of the duration of the program. And I just wanted to show you how I, um, I take notes in my notebook and I also use a highlighter. So let me see if I can bring it up. You see, I took notes there and here. I write in my notebook. Let me show you another page. This page is all marked up. I cannot sell this book back to the store. Just look at what I did to it. Okay, let me just show you. Now on this page, I just wanted to show you how I wrote in it. I don't know. This book is really heavy. Um, okay, yeah. There we go. I just want to show you how I, I use the different color highlighters to organize my textbook. And that helps me because... Um, when I'm studying, I use different colors to let me know um, what that content, like a quick reference. So, say it's like an hour before the test, right? So, I'm flipping through my textbook and I know that the yellow, yellow is more for like caution. So, yellow tends to be like something that's really... Um, important for me to get, really important to remember. Orange, orange is um, um, high, high alert, like um, something that's kind of unique, I think. Like if I was reading it and I thought, okay, that's kind of unique, that's probably something I need to spend more time on, then I'll highlight it in orange. I'll use the pink highlighter for just general information that's important, but it's not like it's not anything that I that's not common sense. It's just something that I probably need to go over to help jog my memory and refocus my attention. So I also use blue, purple, whatever color I have. I use that. Purple is my favorite color. So I'll probably, when I do use purple, I use it for stuff that are um, like interesting facts. I use purple for that. Blue is a really different color. I use blue for like weird words or medications. I normally use blue for like medications and weird words or procedures. And purple is just that's my favorite color so anything interesting that I found that I read and I thought oh that's cool I highlighted that in purple and usually I skip over the purple um, but orange pink and well orange blue and yellow are like the main colors that I look for when I'm studying pink is just general stuff that I probably already knew and I just need to like skim through it really quick to jog my memory. But yeah, that's just an example of how I use colors, highlighters when I study. And that's all I want to talk about. So tomorrow's Super Bowl. Go Giants. Yes, hello. Okay. Um, try not to eat too much food. Try to eat healthy um, if that's even possible. Just try and, you know, you can get up and do your little dances or whatever during commercials. Play on your favorite music and do some dances. I don't know. I know that like every Super Bowl, I tend to gain like five pounds just because I eat like without even thinking. I just eat during the Super Bowl because it's like tradition or something. But I'm trying not to do that this year. So, anyway, um, God bless you. Um, have a great holiday. I know Super Bowl is not an official holiday, but doggone it, in America, Super Bowl is a holiday, okay? 
So have a great holiday. God bless you. Um, and Jesus is Lord. Peace.